to join the band to the main sleeve i've already joined the sleeve itself i will take the band i've also notched it center to center this is the way i did it you fold it into two equal parts notch it also for the sleeve notch it then spread it out take the band place the notch part to the seam line secure it with pin then take one edge and take it to the center part of the sleeve where i notch and take the second edge the part that has the curve this uh, opening part i will overlap it a little bit like 0 0.25 overlap it then take it round as you can see inside i'll take it half an inch round so cut out the standing color i'll be making use of my pattern paper and here is my pattern paper spread out not on fold this time around and to measure out the measurement that is the nine and a half inches for the neckline i will place my measuring tape like this and then mark out where i have nine and a half inches okay so where i have nine and a half inches i will measure it down for me i have it 5.6 okay from yeah. this pointed edge i'll go down by 5.6 and mark it round after marking up the first one which is the radius i will determine the height of my collar for this tutorial i'll be making it one and a half inches then one inch to join it half an inch to join it to the neckline then half an inch to join the collar together making a two and a half inches so i'll go down by two and a half inches from the first line i'll take it around as well i'll go ahead and cut it out so after cutting it this is what i have after cutting it if you have excess no worries just take your measuring tape like this i'll measure out nine and a half inches again have it here after marking it i've trimmed off the excess part so this part will be going into the neckline while this upper part will be standing okay now if you want to leave it plain like this you can as well do okay but me i will not be leaving it plain on my fa i will be doing that on my fabric but i will be showing you how to do it from this upper part that will be standing up I'll, from this edge i'll mark out half an inch or three quarter then i'll form an hack from the half an inch this front edge that will be going into the neckline let me use my marker this is how it will look after marking it now i'll go ahead and I cut out four pieces of this okay one will be to lining the main collar that is why I'm cutting out two pieces. So, two on both sides of the neckline. Okay? Right. So, I'm going to do that right away. Right. After cutting it, this is what I have. I've also hired my interfacing on one side of the collar. The next thing is, I will take it right side facing each other. Also, remember to mark out the part that will be going into the back. Okay? For me, curvy part will be going into the front while this part will be at the back. Okay, this is the straight part. I will now take it to my sewing machine. Remember this edge, I went down by half an inch, then I will follow it. I will move up half an inch, then go round half an inch, half an inch. Then when I get to this part, I will stop. Then move down again half an inch and stop half an inch away to this damp part. Okay, because this damp part will be going into the neckline. Right. To attach the collar to the neckline, I will take the piece that has no interfacing, wrong side facing the table. This is the right side. Then take my collar from the part I created the keyhole, I've slitted it open. Remember, I left half an inch. Then from this edge, from the center, okay, I will go in by one quarter. 
then i will place the collar like this turn it upside down the part that has cuff turn it upside down then immediately after the one quarter i will start pinning it secure it very well with my pin until i get to the center back same one quarter i left from the center front same i'll be leaving on the center so back. having done that i will now take the piece that has a interfacing because this will be the lining i'll place it center to center center front to center front shoulder to shoulder the color now will be in between the lining and the main fabric okay after securing it with paint then i'll take it from the center back this is it i will stitch it up one quarter i'll go down come up again one quarter go round i'll take it round then when i get to the key o i will take it i'll follow the keyhole round and go round until i get to the center back here again when i'm done stitching it i will turn the part that has a interfacing i'll turn it inside and line everything together center to center neckline to neckline shoulder to shoulder give it a good press so after that i will now take the main body start turning it out i will take the part that has interfacing right side of it facing the wrong side of the skates pin it to the edge after pinning it this is how it's going to look inside this will be the wrong side and this will be the right side i will take the upper piece then take half an inch like this folding the same the first one i pinned then use the first piece use it to cover up the first one like this then run my stitch on it close to the edge neatly this side is going to look out. same thing on the other side of the dress so after that i will now shape the arm hole then join this our dress is coming out now i've attached the half yoke to the main body i've also shaped out the arm hole as you can see here both side then i've added the band to the sleeve the next thing now is to attach the sleeve to the bodies and how to do that i will place it right side facing each other on the shoulder line like this I've notch it already center to center then take it round until i cover the arm o same on the other side then after that I will stitch up the side seam with half an inch both sides then go ahead and hem the damp parts hem it then on this part where the collar is the front piece i will be using my hand to tack this on this is called frog fastener so i will place it on the collar stand here just to hold it together then for the back neckline, I will be attacking a hook and eye to these parts, probably on the upper part as well. I will go and do that, then come back and show you the finished look. Guys, this is the hair result of our dress. <laughs> The sleeve, this is it. The half yoke and the collar. The hemline, 
which is the damp parts the back I added who can nice to this back one here one here and this is the inside of the dress this is the way I joined it this is the back I think that's all about the dress looking so far, beautiful. So good guys we have come to the end of today's tutorial and i hope the video has been helpful in one way or the other thank you for watching to the end and don't forget to like it please give it a thumbs up share it let me know what you think in the comment section below and if you have any questions regarding it let me know in the comment section below as well i will get back to you as soon as possible if you haven't joined this great family as well kindly press the red subscribe button down below and don't forget to turn on your notification bell for new updates thank you all i love you and uh, i wish you a blessed merry christmas and happy new year in advance i will see you soon in my next video bye